military had to be reduced, Hitler could no longer remain a soldier after the war, but he kept working for the army as an informant. After the war, what? Germany had attempted a revolution, and the government was worried about communism in general. So Hitler was tasked with infiltrating and reporting on any new political parties that could pose a communist threat. He was a spy. The German Workers' Party threw up a whole bunch of red flags. So Hitler went along to one of their meetings, but found that they weren't communist at all. They were extreme right mm. and shared many of his extreme beliefs. So he left mm. the army and signed up to join the party. His fantastic wow. speaking abilities impressed the party's leadership and supporters, and he very quickly the eyes. To the top. He decided the party needed a makeover, so he renamed it to the National Socialist German Workers' Party, or Nazi for short, and he gave mm. it a new color scheme. The Nazis New color were scheme. On wow. Policy, but Hitler made extravagant promises to return Germany to its former glory by undoing the Treaty of Versailles and reuniting all ethnic Germans into one nation. Hmm. He also said that only pure Aryan people should be allowed to be citizens and that all Jews would lose their citizenship. Mm -mm. These ideas were already common in extreme right politics, but hmm. what set the Nazis apart was Hitler himself, and they quickly became the leading party on the extreme right. Many of the political parties in Germany at the time had paramilitary wings, and the Alliance Nazis were no different. Hitler set up the very descriptive whole protection detachment, later changed to the very delightful gymnastic and sports division, and finally settling on what? the ominous storm detachment, or SA <laughs> for short. Their job was to defend Nazi party meetings and intimidate political mm. opponents, and they would frequently engage in battles with communists on the streets. Since the Allies had demanded a reduction in Germany's military size, many trained okay. soldiers were left unemployed. <laughs> they liked the Nazi ideology, and it was only natural for them to join the SA, which grew larger and larger over time. Mm. The new democratic government that formed after World War I was pretty weak and ineffective. In order to pay reparations to the Allies, it started printing more money. The problem is that printing money. You know, we love doing make that, the right? Country more money, it just makes money less valuable. So right. as the country printed more and more money, it became worth less and less, and the currency crashed. In 1919, one U.S. dollar was worth about four German marks. By December 1923, one U.S. dollar was equal to 4.2 trillion marks. What? The spread was to 200 <laughs> billion marks. Banknotes became worthless. Unsurprisingly, in such what? an economic crisis, Germany struggled to pay the Allies. The French I'll get you the money, I swear. <laughs> they occupied the Ruhr, an area full of factories, and took the economic output from the area as payment. They mm. treated the German civilians badly, and in total, approximately 130 Germans were killed during the occupation. Germans wow. were furious, and Hitler and the Nazis thought that now would be a great time to lead a revolution. In November 1923, inspired by something a certain bold Italian man did a year earlier, Hitler stormed a meeting at a beer hall and called for an uprising against the government. With his supporters, he marched on the streets of Munich, hoping the police would join his side. They did not. <laughs> they did Hitler not. Hitler was put on trial for treason. He could have been sentenced Jeez. to life, but the right-wing judges thought he was a pretty cool guy. Hitler mm. knew the judges and knew that they would be lenient, so he took the opportunity to make impassioned speeches during the trial. And in the wow. end, he was sentenced to just five years in prison, of which he only served nine months. And when I say prison, it was more like a pleasant hotel stay where he had plenty of time to write a book. <laughs> I did not know this. <laughs> I mean, again, I haven't, I haven't done any type of deep dive research into Adolf Hitler's life. You just kind of know, you know, the the cliff notes, and if you watch Schindler's List, you kind of have an idea of what was happening there. Uh, but uh, this is this is insane. The whole affair was covered by the media nationwide, and it made Hitler famous. Hitler and his extreme message were now known throughout Germany. But the everyday mm. Germans still didn't care much for him. In the 1928 election, the Nazis only won about 2% of the vote. Many were still oh, intimidated wow. by all the violence and the shouting and how unpolitician-like he was. But a Makes new sense. economic crisis would change all of that. To We've experienced that before. <laughs> America agreed to give it loans. In October in the 1929, US. the Wall Street crash happened, and America wanted its money back. The economic strain this put on an already struggling Germany was severe. Unemployment skyrocketed. Poverty was widespread, and Germans were sick of it. It was clear that the newly formed democracy wasn't working. In the face mm. of crisis, Germans began moving to the political extremes. If you were German and wanted change, your choices now were either the communists or the Nazis. Wow. Hitler claimed that he was the only one who could return Germany to its former <laughs> glory. The Nazi party used propaganda to make Hitler seem like a great and powerful man, and they gave the German people a scapegoat to blame for all their suffering. The mm. promise of a single strong dictator was a breath of fresh air for Germans after years of failing democracy. Some bought into his extreme ideology. Some didn't agree with the racism, but were willing to vote for him anyway. Many mm. didn't know much about politics at all, but just got caught up in the yep. hype. Election after election, the Nazis became more and more popular, until in wow. 1932, they became the biggest party in the German parliament. Hitler came to truly believe that he was some sort of great, destined savior of Germany. <laughs> he turned megalomaniac. 
he decided to run for president and did surprisingly well, but still lost to the extremely popular World War I general, Paul von Hindenburg. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest party, though, he Historically accurate. Hindenburg make him chancellor. <laughs> Hindenburg was reluctant, seeing that Hitler was clearly such a big racist. Industry mm. leaders urged Hindenburg to give Hitler the chancellorship, fearing the rising support for communism. And leader of the Center Party von Papen, who had been secretly negotiating with Hitler, said to Hindenburg, "How about we make Hitler chancellor on the condition that I get to be vice chancellor, and most mm. government jobs go to us moderate conservatives." That way, I'll get to keep my power. I mean, we'll get to keep our power. <laughs> like he's our angry little puppet. Mm. What could possibly go wrong? As oh. it turned out, everything. That's Hitler right. Hitler became Chancellor of Germany in January 1933, but he was not yet a dictator. In February, the German parliament building was set on fire. Historians still aren't sure who did it, and many suspect the Nazis what? did it themselves. But Hitler <laughs> blamed the communists, and he convinced President Hindenburg to sign an emergency decree allowing him to imprison all communists and other political what? opponents. <laughs> Communists and others were sent off to the first concentration camp in Dachau. Wow. At this time, the elderly president Hindenburg passed away, giving mm. Hitler the perfect opportunity. He introduced a law to parliament that would allow him to make all future yep. laws and decisions entirely on his own. With his political opponents and a projector just like that back there. Others, Hitler's law passed. Just two months after becoming chancellor, wow. Hitler was now a dictator. He still had one problem. Two months. The leader of the SA wanted the SA to take over the job of the regular German army, and the German army didn't like that idea. Hitler needed to maintain the support of his professionally trained German army, more okay. so than his rough and rowdy SA. <laughs> so one night in June 1934, he had Rom and many other of his own SA officers rounded up and murdered. While he was at it, he took Jeez. the opportunity to brutally so assault his followers as well. Politicians who had disappeared <clears throat> in the past, reporters who had printed negative articles about him. One guy who did absolutely nothing, but they thought he was someone else. In Jeez. some cases, even their families were murdered. In total, up to 200 people were killed in what became known as the Night of the Long Knives. The army, now satisfied that they wouldn't be replaced, pledged total allegiance to their new Führer. Mm. And Hitler's control was now absolute. Life in Germany changed violently. Freedom That's of the crazy. press, expression, and public assembly were suspended. Jews were initially branded and their businesses boycotted. And eventually, Hitler would go on to have six million mm. Jewish men, women, and children killed yep. in concentration camps. Hundreds of thousands of people were forced into sterilization for physical and mental imperfections. The Hitler Youth became a way to brainwash the young. Boys were trained to fight and returned home mm. from camp violent. Girls were told their purpose was to have many pure Aryan children, mm -hmm. and they would sometimes return from camp pregnant. When their parents were understandably horrified, their children would threaten to turn them over to the Gestapo for standing in the way of Germany's greatness. The standard greeting changed, and you could mm -hmm. be sent to a concentration camp for not using it. Mm -hmm. This way, it seemed like everyone was a Nazi supporter. If you dared to Hitler or speak out against him in any way, you also would be sent to a concentration camp. Ugh. German nationalism captivated the young adult. Extreme ideology and anti-Semitism festered in him as a young man living a hard life on the streets. Germany's defeat in the First World War filled him with hatred and a thirst for vengeance. Mm. A political movement that treated him like a god and hundreds of thousands looking up to him as their savior made him a megalomaniac. And soon, his aggressive Dude, foreign just the breakdown the right there? ...to a second tragic global conflict. Insane. Otherwise known as... That's right. Wow. That was good. That, like the breakdown, the breakdown towards the end there of just like everything that led up to him becoming a megalomaniac and just insane. That was really good. I love the way that he puts these together and it's really fun to watch and it keeps you interested and invested in the, in the story and the history of everything that's going on and all the other things that are kind of happening around that same time and you see kind of what things are connected and maybe what's not, but uh, yeah, this was crazy, and, and, it, and it delves right into uh, World War II. So we'll we'll do that pretty soon. I think there's maybe one or two videos before World War II. I'm doing these just in the order that he released these videos, so um, it's still fun. So hopefully you're enjoying them. Thanks for watching. If you haven't watched uh, part one and you're watching this and you're watching part two first, you haven't watched part one, check out part one. It's down there. There's other videos as well you can check out on the channel. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know again what you think of these videos, what you think of uh, just you know the story of Hitler. Is there anything that's missed that maybe I still need to know about? Let me know in the comments below. You probably hear all that background noise. I apologize. But <laughs> thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys as always on the next video. Take care.